morning dear students i am ms navida sheik from brahman mumbai mahanagar palika mcjm virtual class i welcome all my dear students to another an interesting session in today's session we will be learning something new and interesting from a science textbook so let's get good morning dear students i welcome all my dear students to another an interesting session my name is navida sheik and we will be learning a very interesting chapter from a science textbook and the chapter's name is muscular system and digestive system in human beings as this chapter is uh, related to our body okay it is related to human beings we will be learning interesting facts about our body how systematic your body works how there are different organs and different types of uh, different body parts that are responsible for the proper functioning in our body and this chapter we will be discussing about this two organ system that is the muscular system and the digestive system in today's video we will be discussing about the muscular system in our body so let's get started and learn something new and interesting how are the bones in our body joined to each other when you were in your 6th standard you have learned about your skeletal system in that we learned about the bones the different types of bones that are present in your body which gives which helps in giving proper shape to your body it helps in various activity right but in that chapter we did not learn how these bones are joined to each other so that answer we are going to get in this chapter close your fist tightly and bend your arm at the elbow same as the picture that you can see on the screen when you feel the upper part of this arm with the fingers of other hand dusre hath se aap log aapke arm pe hath lagao you will find that there is a difference when you are moving your hand okay now what did you experience did you feel the hardness in the upper arm yes the this fleshy part consists of muscles muscles contract and relax as different parts of our body move muscles give our body a specific shape and posture okay so here on the bones you have got muscles when you are moving your hand with when you are moving your hand and if you place your other hand the other hand's fingers onto the arm you will find that these arm the arm that you are moving it becomes it hardens and it loosens okay when that is happening because of the contraction and relaxation of the muscles that are present on the bones of your body okay so these muscles give our body a specific shape and posture muscles are bundles of fibers that can con contract and relax as required now here kuch your this muscles that you can control by yourself hum log hamare hath ke jo muscles hai when you are writing when you are pulling something up you are controlling it you can control it and you can feel the contraction and relaxation of that muscle hum log usse feel kar sakte hai ki ha ye kab contract ho raha hai aur ye muscle kab relax ho raha hai jab relax hoga to wo muscle loosen ho jayega thoda soft feel hoga aur jab hum log usse upar ki taraf pull karenge kuch wazan uthayenge to you will notice that hamara jo arm hai it tightens okay there is hardness over there you will feel that it has hardened so that is that happens when it contracts understood so your bones are joined with the help of the muscles and these muscles are very important to give your body a specific shape and posture it also helps you to do different activities okay now what is the mutual relationship between muscles and bones here in this picture you can see muscles also and you can see bones as well as you can see this uh, picture it is pulling or doing an exercise and in that you can see the difference in the muscles and how the bones and the muscles are moving simultaneously means there is some relationship between the two muscles are firmly attached to bones by means of tendons okay so muscles aise khali chipke hue nahi hai hamare bones ko okay so they are attached to your bones by means of tendons when muscles contract jab hamare muscles contract hote hain there is movement at the joint and the bones move either nearer or away from each other 
okay as you can see in this picture if you're doing something if you're doing some activity in that activity you can feel that these tendons and the muscles when they contract there is a movement at the joint हमारे जो बोन्स है इसके जॉइंट में मूवमेंट हो रही है और ये जो मसल्स है ये भी हेल्प कर रहे हैं फॉर द जॉइंट्स टू मूव एट अ प्रॉपर पेस एंड द बोन्स दे आल्सो मूव आइदर नियरर और अवे फ्रॉम ईच अदर डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द वर्क दैट यू आर डूइंग द एक्शन ऑफ मसल्स इज नेसेसरी फॉर ऑल काइंड ऑफ मूवमेंट फ्रॉम द स्मॉल मूवमेंट्स ऑफ आई to those that demand great strength as when chopping wood with an axe we use muscles for various movements like talking laughing walking jumping throwing etc theek hai so even for blinking your eyes your eyelids have got muscles so there also you need muscles to blink your eyes eyelids सेम वे वेन यू आर टॉकिंग ऑल्सो हमारे जॉज है ना जो स्कल हमारे जो सर का जो स्कल है उसके अंदर भी मसल्स है दीज जॉज जिसके ऊपर हमारा स्कल के ऊपर जो हमारे जो मसल्स हैं दे आर हेल्पिंग यू टू स्माइल टॉक लाफ एंड वाइल वॉकिंग ऑल्सो योर लेग्स जो बोन्स है उसके ऊपर जो मसल्स है दे आर हेल्पिंग यू टू वॉक जम्प थ्रो थिंग्स एंड डू वेरियस थिंग डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द वर्क वो मसल्स उतना एक्सर्जन करते हैं अगर हम लोगों को आइज ब्लिंक करना है तो बहुत कम मूवमेंट की रिक्वायर्ड रिक्वायरमेंट है वेर एज यू रिक्वायर मोर स्ट्रेंथ वाइल चॉपिंग द वुड विद एन एक्स अगर हम लोगों को लकड़ी तोड़नी है एक्स से सो इट रिक्वायर सो मच ऑफ स्ट्रेंथ बट आईलेट्स को बंद होने के लिए इट डजेंट रिक्वायर दैट मच स्ट्रेंथ ओके वट डू आर मसल्स डू Our muscles enable us to move our body parts. Okay, सिर्फ bones हमारे body parts को move करने में help नहीं कर सकती So muscles are also required to move our body parts. It gives our individual shape. It gives us our individual shape. हर इंसान की body का structure अलग होता है दूसरे से So each and every individual gets a different shape because of the muscles in their body. इट प्रोटेक्ट्स एंड कीप इन प्लेस आर अबडोमिनल ऑर्गन्स हमारे जो ऑर्गन्स हैं ना बॉडी के अंदर वी हैव लर्न अबाउट वेरियस ऑर्गन्स एंड ऑर्गन सिस्टम्स इन आर बॉडी सो नॉट ओनली द अबडोमिनल ऑर्गन्स बट देर आर वेरियस ऑर्गन्स इन योर बॉडी इन साइड योर बॉडी दिस मसल इज हेल्पिंग दैम टू बी इन अ प्रॉपर प्लेस ठीक है ऐसे वैसे बाहर गिर रहे नहीं है वो Now lungs हमारे जो है your heart these are protected because of the bones are that are there in your body the rib cage ठीक है उसके अंदर है हमारे but when you talk about the abdominal organs like your stomach your small intestine large intestine then your kidneys your urinary bladder all these things are protected and they are kept in place because of the muscles around your stomach area yes or no हमारे जो uh, ribs रिप केज के नीचे से जो पार्ट है वहां पर हम लोगों को बोन्स नहीं फील होते हैं है ना एंड दैट पर्टिकुलर पार्ट हैज बीन कवर्ड इंटायरली बाय द मसल्स इन योर बॉडी सो दैट मसल्स आर प्रोटेक्टिंग द अबडोमिनल ऑर्गन्स इट एनेबल आस टू मेंटेन गुड पॉस्चर हमारा जो पॉस्चर है सीधा चल रहा है हम लोग बोला जाता है ना सिट प्रॉपरली फॉर अ गुड पॉस्चर दैट ऑल इज बिकॉज ऑफ द मसल्स दैट आर प्रेजेंट इन योर बॉडी इट हेल्प्स इन द सर्कुलेशन ऑफ आर ब्लड ना रिमेंबर हम लोगों की जो बॉडी के अंदर ब्लड जो फ्लो करता है इट फ्लोज थ्रू द आर्टरीज एंड द वेन्स और ये जो आर्टरीज और वेन्स है ये किसके अंदर फ्लो करती है दे आर फ्लोइंग थ्रू द मसल्स ओके सो इट हेल्प्स इन द सर्कुलेशन ऑफ ब्लड ऑल्सो इट जेनरेट्स बॉडी हीट वेन दे कॉन्ट्रैक्ट ओके देर आर ओवर सिक्स हंड्रेड स्केलेटल मसल्स इन द बॉडी वन फिफ्टी इन द हेड एंड नेक so this is a small information about what are muscles and what do they do as i told you that there are more than 600 muscles in the human body muscles contribute almost 40% of the weight of a healthy adult human being if you are healthy if you are not overweight then 40% of your body is weight is because of the muscles that are there in your body There are about 30 muscles in the human face. Our eyes, mouth and nose are encircled by small muscles. Expressions like happiness, sadness, fear 
are expressed by the movements of these muscles of the face okay so when you are talking about the face itself there are 30 muscles different muscles these uh, 30 uh, muscles are helping you to smile when you're sad your face ka jo expression hai wo change ho jata hai na har cheez mein hum logo ko ek alag tarika se expression feel hota hai face ke upar and that all is because of these 30 muscles that are present on the human face okay 600 muscles in the body Muscles are made up of bundles of muscle fibers which are held together by connective tissues. When muscle fibers are stimulated by nerves, they contract or become short and thick. Let's move on to the types of muscles that are there. Now in your body, there are certain muscles that you can control and there are certain muscles which cannot be controlled. Okay. So voluntary muscles, the first type of muscles that you're going to talk about is the voluntary muscles. As the word voluntary, hum logo bolte na, koi volunteer kar raha hai, kya kuch kaam karne ke liye, if there is any volunteer who wants to come and do certain work, okay, volunteer matlab khud se kaam karna, yeah, which is in your control, jo hum log khud se karte hai. You can control this type of a muscle and that is why it is called as voluntary muscles. Like your face. If you are, if you want to smile, only then you smile, है ना? Smile करना हमारे ऊपर है, तो या फिर रोना या कोई expression हमारे चेहरे पे दिखाना, it is up to us. If you want to show fear, only then you can show fear. Otherwise, if you want to make a straight face, you can keep it as it is, right? So that that is under your control. Next, arms, हाथ हमारे, पैर हमारे, these are all got voluntary muscles. Means if I want to move it, only then it will move. Or if it is moving also, if I want to stop it, I can stop it because it is under my control. Okay. Working with our hands, walking, eating, etc. are functions that depend upon our will. Muscles used in these actions are called voluntary muscles. For example, muscles in our arms and legs are voluntary muscles. So when you're playing football, if you're kicking the ball, it is up to you. If you want to kick or not. ठीक है? तो जब हम लोग kick करते हैं, ये हमारे control में है ना? हमारे पैर की movement. Yes. अगर हम लोगों को कोई चीज हमारे हाथ से रोकनी है, तो the arms that are there, ये भी हमारे हाथ, हमारे control में है. If you want to move it or not, it depends that you want to do or not. ठीक है? So anything, any muscles that you're talking about, like your hands, your legs, your face, these are coming under voluntary muscles. Voluntary means you can willfully control muscles, facial expression, chewing, swallowing and movement of the head. These are all voluntary actions. Voluntary muscles, your brain sends message to contract or relax. Your contracted and relaxed picture you can see of how the muscles are if it is contracted and when it is relaxed, the muscles. Next type of muscle that we are talking about is involuntary muscle. Involuntary means you cannot control this type of muscle. Now, most of the time these involuntary muscles are present inside your body where you cannot see these muscles doing some work like the digestive system, your eyelids. हम लोग कितनी बार eye blinks कर blink करते हैं, but you do not realize it. तो when you are blinking your eyes, that is not under your control. Yes, you can try and not blink, but at some point you are going to blink your eyes. So the eyelids जो है, it has got involuntary muscles. Your heart, heart is not under your control. हम लोग हमारी heart को heart beat रोक सकते हैं क्या? No. So the muscles that are present in the heart are made up of involuntary muscles. Various processes like breathing, blood circulation, digestion are vital functions. Very important functions. Vital means important. They are essential for life. They do not depend upon our will. The muscles of organs which carry out these involuntary functions are called involuntary muscles. Functions of organs like the stomach, intestine, heart are carried out in their own mixed, fixed manner by involuntary muscles. ठीक है, so they have a different mechanism of working. उन लोगों को हमारे 
परमिशन की ज़रूरत नहीं होती है दे आर इम्पॉर्टेंट ऑर्गन्स ठीक है तो द मसल्स ओवर देयर दे कैरी आउट देयर ओन फंक्शन एट देयर ओन अपने हिसाब से काम करते हैं सो आई होप दिस इज़ अंडरस्टूड इन वॉलेंट्री मसल्स के एग्जाम्पल समझ में आ गए हैं योर हार्ट रिमेंबर योर हार्ट योर हार्ट योर आईलेट्स एंड द डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम ओके सो विद दिस आई होप द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ इन वॉलेंट्री मसल इज ऑल्सो क्लियर Involuntary means functions without the person thinking about contracting the muscles, digestive system, heart muscles, and blood vessels. Some muscles are both voluntary and involuntary. Example is blinking. Now, when you are trying to avoid blinking, that time you are controlling it, so it is voluntary. And so there are certain times when you cannot control it, and it is it keeps on blinking. So that is an involuntary action. Which organ in our body have voluntary muscles and which one have involuntary muscles? Find out and make a list of each type. Now I have a few examples here. You can uh, write it down in the comment section below whether they are voluntary or involuntary, and uh, you have to name at least two voluntary muscles and two involuntary muscles in your body. Okay, and write it in the comment section below so that. Uh, we come to know that you understood the concept of voluntary and involuntary muscles myology the study of muscles means this word is very easy but you have to remember this what does it mean when you talking about muscles there are people who study about them and that is why you know that there are different different types of muscles and they have different functions to do so the study of muscles is called myology there are different types of muscles in your body now we have learned about involuntary and voluntary muscles theek hai now further they have been divided as three types of muscles cardiac muscle cells skeletal muscle cells and smooth muscle cells okay now these are present here you can see cardiac muscle cells everybody knows what is the meaning of cardiac skeletal muscle cells i hope that is also understandable for you all and smooth muscle cells i'll be explaining you all again okay let's continue the types of muscles we can put muscles into three types based on how they work in this body in your body there are three types of muscles we have divided them on the basis of how they work first is skeletal or voluntary muscles or striped muscles second is smooth muscles or involuntary muscles third is cardiac muscle okay cardiac muscles is very interesting to know because um, it is a very special type of type of muscle which is present only in one part of your body nowhere else it is present only in the heart the heart is made up of this special muscle that is the cardiac muscle cardiac is a special type of involuntary muscle it is a involuntary muscle it works on its own you do not you cannot control it okay so it is only found in the heart it contracts regularly continuously and without tiring so when you were conceived by your mother in your womb in her womb at that time your heart started to form and it started to pump the blood in your body okay till a man or a female dies ye heart uska kaam karta hi rehta hai without even stopping okay for even a minute agar wo 1 minute ke liye bhi dhadakna band kar dega to insaan mar jayega so it is very important part of your body it doesn't stop working it keeps on contracting and relaxing regularly continuously and without tiring it works automatically but is under constant nervous and chemical control theek hai so the purification of the blood hum log ne pad chuke hain about circulation of blood it all depends upon this heart and this heart is very important so this muscle that is the heart made up of is very special kind of a muscle which does not need to rest ise rest karne ki zarurat nahi padti hai it constantly and continuously does it work of pumping the blood okay so i hope this is clear ki cardiac muscles kahan present hai aur uh, iski speciality kya hai aur kya kaam karta hai 
ओके स्मूथ और इनवॉलेंट्री मसल्स दीज मसल्स वर्क ऑटोमेटिकली दे आर नॉट अंडर आर कॉन्शियस कंट्रोल एग्जाम्पल्स मसल्स ऑफ द डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम नाउ यर वेन यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट स्मूथ मसल्स और इनवॉलेंट्री मसल्स इनवॉलेंट्री एवरीबडी इज अंडरस्टूड द मीनिंग ऑफ द वर्ड इनवॉलेंट्री मीन्स यू आर नॉट इन कंट्रोल ऑफ एनीथिंग सो द मसल्स विच आर प्रेजेंट इन साइड योर बॉडी मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम लाइक योर डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम का जो एलिमेंट्री कनाल है जब खाना हमारे मुंह से अंदर जब तक खाना मुंह में है इट इज अंडर योर कंट्रोल के इसे अंदर डालना है या नहीं वंस इट गोज इन टू योर फूड पाइप द इसो फिगर्स इट विल कीप ऑन मूविंग डाउन टूवर्ड्स योर स्टमक फ्रॉम द स्टमक टू द स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन लार्ज इंटेस्टाइन एंड देन इट विल कम आउट ऑफ द एनस ओके सो इसके अंदर जो डाइजेशन के जो मूवमेंट हो रहा है ना हमारे खाने का एक जगह से दूसरी जगह पे That is all done because of the smooth muscles which are present in the digestive system. Understood? Same way there are certain other organs also, like your respiratory system. Then you have your eyelids. They all have involuntary muscles in them. Skeletal or voluntary muscle. They are under our conscious control. Okay, you control them. like your hands your legs this means we instruct them to perform everyday actions such as walking running and jumping now there are a few that you can name like your hands your leg other than that i would like you all to name any two more voluntary muscles that are under your control okay muscles in our body always works in groups when some muscles contract our muscles other muscles of the same group relax this is how muscles help in the proper performance of the various functions of our body theek hai so when one of your body is uh, one of a part of the body is stressing out the other relax so that there is a proper function in your body The muscles on the front of the bone in our upper arm is called the biceps. The muscles at the back is called the tricep. So, these biceps and triceps, everybody can see in this picture clearly what are biceps and what are triceps. Most of most of the times, boys are very much into uh, gyms and all, so they know what is biceps and triceps. And but nowadays, even girls know how to exercise and what is bicep, what is tricep. ओके सो यू शुड नो कि हमारी बॉडी पार्ट्स के बारे में हम लोगों को पता होना चाहिए ना दे वर्क टुगेदर ठीक है ये बाइसेप्स और ट्राइसेप्स की वजह से ही हमारे बॉडी का ये हाथ और पैर के मूवमेंट्स अच्छी तरीके से होते हैं वेन द बाइसेप्स रिलैक्स द ट्राइसेप्स आर कॉन्ट्रैक्टेड एंड वेन द ट्राइसेप्स आर रिली रिलैक्स द बाइसेप्स आर कॉन्ट्रैक्टेड एंड दैट इज हाउ योर हैंड्स मूव ड्यूरिंग most of the time when you are sitting or it is said that you should sit properly why is it said because your body posture is very important we have learned that your body your muscles are very important for the proper functioning of a body right hamari body ke andar sahi tarike se sab cheez sahi chale isliye hamari body ka fit hona bahut zaruri hai so our diet must include proteins and carbohydrates in sufficient quantity for the proper growth and repair of our muscles so in your growing years it is very important that you have a more amount of protein like uh, dal or pulses then milk curd fish meat okay leafy vegetables like spinach nuts all these things have high amount of proteins in them and that is very good for your muscles building then you should also regularly exercise so that it makes your muscles strong if you are sitting in one place only not going out you are just playing games on your phone or on the laptop then it will make your body weak and it will not be that fit that it has to be at this particular age so you should as the nowadays we have corona virus so people students are not allowed to go outside and play along with their friends but you should see to it that once this all get over you should play with your friends and uh, 
if you are not playing with your friends right now because you are not supposed to go out and play so you should exercise daily and do some physical activity okay if you have stairs in your house you can walk down the stairs climb up the stairs to your house so that you have done certain activity to keep your body fit we must sit with a straight back and not with a hunched or bent back because it will affect your structure of the vertebrae that is the bone theek hai hamare muscles jo hai na wo uske upar zor waisa padta hai aur hamari jo bones hai jo the vertebral bone ya fir hamara jo spinal cord hai that gets affected okay and that causes disorder of the vertebral column which may also cause various problems you must have heard about the name of slip disc or spondylitis uh, spondylitis okay so that is all because of the not sitting properly or lifting too much of heavy weight or not sleeping properly uh, hunching your back back or when you're watching the phones also nowadays you all watch too much of phones you all play games on the phone so that time also you should be aware how you're sitting how you're lying okay so during exercises movement of heart muscles become more rapid breathing too becomes faster and ensuring a sufficient supply of oxygen and nutrients to various part of the body and that is why exercising is very important understood i hope this is clear now as i told you that the study of muscle is called myology this is an uh, this is something that you need to know about your body the contraction is the basic property of muscle the largest muscle of our body is in the thigh okay this is the picture of the thigh jo hamari uh, thighs hai uske andar sabse lamba jo muscles hota hai wo wahan present hota hai it is the largest muscle of our body and the smallest muscle is attached to a bone in the ear called the stapes theek hai ekdam barik se ek haddi hoti hai uske andar ek muscles hota hai chhota sa muscle jo se dono bones ko connect karta hai and that is called as the stapes so in this picture you can see both the things present the largest muscles present in your body that is in the thigh and the smallest muscle present in your ear that is called as the stapes i hope this much is clear to all of you i hope everybody knows what is the meaning of muscle ye muscles kahan present hai then different types of muscles we have learned about cardiac muscles smooth muscles skeletal muscles voluntary muscles and voluntary muscles how many different types of muscles are present in your body i hope everything is quite clear to all my students and uh, in the next coming period we will be solve we will be learning something new and interesting in this chapter we still have a part of this chapter left so we'll be uploading a new video soon on the other part of the chapter till then thank you if you like the session please do not forget to subscribe to our channel so that you can share and view the videos that we had today for you and please do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you remain updated with all the latest videos that we'll be making for our dear students this session was quite useful to you in the next coming period we'll learn something new and interesting till then thank you